Are you the truth teller? Let's talk about it. Hi everyone, I'm Sarah. I'm a certified coach. I specialize in abuse recovery from narcissistic, sociopathic, and psychopathic abuse. The toxic or narcissistic parent will always feel threatened by the truth teller because they are the only one in the family who can destroy their lies. Everything can be ruined with a truth teller telling the truth. If that gets out, everything's over and they know it. Truth tellers are the people who see the real issues that everyone else sees, but they stay quiet about. Truth tellers see the dysfunctional patterns in abusive households clearly and know that something's wrong even when they haven't known any other treatment. They see the difference that the golden child is treated versus the scapegoat. They see how people are on TV. They see how people are in books and they question and they're like, how come in everything else this is deemed normal but what I do in my home is so different than everyone else. It doesn't make sense. That's where we get the why. Why is this happening? What's going on? The truth teller is always thinking about the whys. Truth tellers speak the truth and we are often hated for the honesty we have. Toxic people, especially narcissists, want to hide the lies, the toxicity, the injustice, and the pain they cause other people. Truth tellers speak up and say that what's going on is wrong. And that leads to most truth tellers becoming the scapegoat in the dysfunctional family system. There are times where it may be the lost child too, or there are roles being switched back and forth. Maybe the scapegoat's the scapegoat this day and the golden child is the scapegoat the next day. And it's just all over the place. And it's a jumbled up mess. Or there is the only child in the home, which makes everything confusing. Truth tellers feel alone and isolated because they see the truth and that leads them to questioning the toxic actions and behaviors when the problems are questioned the truth teller becomes the problem they are what is wrong the toxic parent or narcissist will switch the narrative and use their enablers to make the truth teller the bad guy that leads to complete isolation and no familial support or connection this leads to the truth teller being gaslit so they will forcefully be confused and deny their reality so the abuser can try to live comfortably while making their targets miserable. If they can't even accept what's happening in their own reality, they can't accept anything else. So the truth teller is going to have to question everything. But the toxic or narcissistic parent doesn't stop there. They continue to make the truth teller look horrible to outsiders. Anyone outside of the home will have to learn that the truth teller is horrible or the abuser can't fully have control that they need to keep the truth teller label as unreliable and the troublemaker. The abuser has to make sure that the truth teller is ostracized in society so the truth teller truly believes that they are the one who is wrong. But the truth teller has many good qualities. Honesty is always good. They're very observant. They have a lot of intuition, but often have some difficulties trusting that intuition because we were gaslit all the time. Remember that if you were the truth teller, it wasn't you who was the problem. It was the toxic parent, the narcissist, whoever, who decided to take you and make you the problem for seeing the truth, for knowing the truth and understanding that you deserved more. You always knew that. If you like content like this, please like, share, and subscribe. Let's spread awareness of narcissistic abuse. I will see you next time. Stay safe.